All right, good morning, everybody. It's uh, <clears throat> the morning of the 11th. It's uh, 7.37 in the morning. Just packed up camp. Left a Carter Gap shelter. Now we are headed up to uh, one of the next shelters, or second shelter, I should say, which is, I think, 12.1 today. If I can do that, and if I'm feeling this, uh, Spryly today, I might do another one, but more than likely that's going to be it. So, all right, y'all have a great day. Check out this view. It's just amazing. Pretty, 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 pretty. Oh, I wanted to show you what we're climbing up. I know the picture probably doesn't do it justice, but this is really, really steep. It's been that way like this the whole time. I'm way up here, but hope the top is right up there. There's the white blaze. You can climb up and over these boulders, and it's slick and muddy. This is challenging. Oh, these mountains are killing me, but I made it to the top. And usually when you get to the top, you get views like this. Check that out. Oh, so now, hopefully it levels out or goes down. All right, made it up that big mountain. I'm at the fire tower. Let me turn the camera on and show you. Which means I am at the official 100 mile mark. First milestone. And you got some amazing views behind me back here. You can see. So I took some pictures already. So now I'm going to keep going to the next shelter. <clears throat> All right. So today we made it, um, or I made it, I should say, 16.16, I think it was. So 16 miles for the day. And I stopped. This little campsite just right by the road, actually, because tomorrow, tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock, I'm getting a shuttle ride to Chica and Sunset's hostel. I'll stay at the hostel for um, just one day, or one night, I should say. They have a uh, dinner included for you, a shuttle ride into town, plus they get to um, help you get resupplied as well. So that's what I'm doing tomorrow, taking a zero, and going to enjoy, get some videos uploaded. And for tonight's dinner, I'm having Chinese food. This I found this here. It has these two packets and this rice. It's had some boiling water. And this is chicken and basil. Thai food. I said Chinese. It's Thai, I think, actually. But it's going to be phenomenal. I'm looking forward to it because I'm hungry. So I'll get back with you in a little bit. Oh, well, one of the bad things about hiking is you go to bed before the sun is up. Everybody else is already back in their tents. There's only two other people here anyway. So no one to talk to. It's kind of boring. There's no cell service whatsoever. Can't go on Facebook. Can't send you calls or messages. So nothing to do but just lay here and either sleep or kill time or whatever. So maybe play a game on my phone and go to bed. So tomorrow we go into town, into Franklin. All right, good morning, everybody. It's the morning of day 12. We are uh, winding Stair Gap. I'm waiting for a uh, shuttle ride, which will be here at 11. And I actually got about two or three hours to kill because I'm really early. But when you go to bed at sundown, nothing else to do but sleep. You get up really early because you're bored and nothing else to do. So I get up early every morning and watch the sunrise or just hang out and relax or hike but today no hiking so just sitting here at the hiking lot this is what i'm doing sitting here waiting and once my shuttle bus gets here i'll go into town resupply and relax and i can upload some videos i know you guys are ready for that these guys do anything to get a ride This is what you do when you're desperate for a ride. Trying to hitch. Yes, come on, just slow down. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's working. All right. Here at this wine and stir gap, they have a shuttle that picks you up, takes you into town to resupply, and it's five bucks per person. So that's pretty cool. Hey, I just got out of the shower and it felt amazing. Wow. You don't think you'd miss showers very much until you get one. So, oh, oh you're right. This is Lego. <laughs> hey. hey. He goes by Tony Lego. He's from Michigan. So, I'll show you the room being in. This is Chica and Sunset's Hostel. So this is where we're staying. He's staying there and I'm here. Really great, great place. Also, they have a loaner clothes for you to wear, which is what I got on, matter of fact, while you shower. Have the uh, washer and dryer. And I like this part. On their washer, all the settings say for through hiker. So you just turn it to where it says through hiker because our clothes are muddy and nasty. The washer and dryer for us and bathroom. They have breakfast for us tomorrow, 7 o'clock, continental breakfast. Have a nice little couch, lounge area, TV. This is them. They did the AT, I think you said 2017, together. So great through hiking couple. They have pizza and stuff in the fridge and sodas for purchase. <sighs> Mountain Dew. Yes. Mountain Dew. All right. So, I've also got over here a hiker box. So I'll go through that a little later and see what's in there. For those of you who don't know, a hiker box is the stuff you discard along the trail. You're just not using it anymore. You don't want to carry it. You put it in the hiker box. If somebody else wants something or needs it, you just take it out of there. So that's what a hiker box is. So I've got some pretty cool stuff out of it, but an awesome place to stay. So we're going to get cleaned up, go into town, resupply, and get some real food. Okay, so we are currently at a restaurant called the, uh, what is it? Motor, Motor Company Grill. Motor Company Grill. Turn the camera on, show you. I'm going to grab a quick bite to eat and we're going to go explore the downtown area. They have a big wall that through hikers sign their name on. We're going to go check that out. We've got a bunch of museums and just a whole bunch of stuff to explore. So, ready to eat the burger though. Oh. So, we are in Franklin, North Carolina. This is a very, 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 very hiker friendly town. They love through hikers. Matter of fact, it's one of their main businesses. So, they pick you up if you're hitchhiking taking to town and just super super kind can meet a better people so we got a big board over here matter of fact we're walking to now we're going to sign this board for the through hikers cool little building here i don't know what it is oh it says right here oh civil war history awesome Thomas Legion. I love Civil War history and World War II history. They have an Outfitter 76 up here. I'm going to walk into that and check it out. Awesome. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're coming up on this big board here. Welcome 2022 AT through hikers. That's us, class of 2022. So we're gonna sign this thing. This was a marker over here. These are all the people hiking this year. I'm number 2000. 255, I believe it is. You know your number? 2301. You're 2301. So there's at least 2300 hikers out here, minimum. Probably like 2500 easily. Sign money right there. Stands out a little more. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sure, sure. I like to stand out. 
Something of all kinds of stuff. So typical middle America, small town. Look to it. Beautiful place. Oh, look what I just found. Donut place. Oh. That's where your trail name should have been a donut. You keep talking about it. Yes, it should have been donut. I might change my trail name to donut. You can. <laughs> This is the view as you're leaving town. Look at that. They have mountains right there. Spectacular. So this is the whole town pretty much. Little museum over here. So this is Outdoor 76 for all your hiking needs. They got everything in here. So stop in here and get what you need. Hit the trail with. And went in this museum here. It's free. Look around. A lot of World War II history, Civil War history. All kinds of old stuff in here. Really cool to look at. So now we're on our way to the grocery store to resupply. This is where we're going to resupply. Dollar General and there's the English grocery store right next door. So between the two, get what we need. Alright, we had an awesome time in town. I cannot say enough about Chicken Sunset's Hostel. Hospitality is top notch. I mean all the way. Their service, they pick you up on time, they text you. We'll be there in eight minutes and right on time they're there. Just super fun fun people. Uh this is my resupply I got for the for the week. Or for three days I should got some of these, I got some candy bars, and of course some donuts, can't leave with those. More beef jerky, some pistachios, mac and cheese, we got some fruit applesauce. This is for dinner tonight. Some spam singles and this pasta alfredo. But when I was in town, at the Outdoor 76 store, if you're through hiker, they give you a free buff. That's what it looks like. thought that was pretty cool. So we're going to hang out tonight and chill and have fun.